Yo, what up? We're back. We're here. We're ready to cast. It's your boy, Grand Grant. It's that other dude, Lacoste, Dakota on the side, and the king himself looking so noble, so regal, so succulent. My goodness, Jack, you're looking mm. good. How's it feeling on the throne? Pretty good. Nice and comfortable. You know, my, my butt is more comfortable than it has been throughout. And uh, I'm ready to start. Uh, I'm not that kind of king about sitting back and enjoying things. I want to make some defining policy changes here to the uh -oh. world. Oh, so you're just... I was just, I, I was I was just chilling so. yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can chill. <laughs> okay, so All Jack, right. we're going to give you... Well, well, what are you talking about? All right, we're going to do this. Uh, I want everybody to stick to their strong suits, all right? So, um, you know, Dakota's a pretty good observer, but uh, I think we can maybe make that even better. Every time Dakota misses a kill, oh he's no. got to... He's got to take his monster and, like, you know, chug, chug, and do, do some uh, drinking for a couple seconds. Right, I got monster right here. Um, we all know that Lacoste is a beacon of positivity and positive energy. It's Lacoste, when you, you know, as a co-caster, when you commentate, you're only allowed to say good things about the Good things? All right. If you violate that rule, you will also have to drink the monster. And Grant, we no, all no, wait, know hear me out, Jay. Bring a dozen of we, monsters right here. Because you're trying to say something. If we do something wrong, we have to chug monster. But I love chugging monster. So how is it? Are you sure that's punishing me? Uh, we'll see. We'll see how just how much monster you can take. Every okay, man has, trust has a limit. Look at my body. I'm literally just water and <laughs> monster. <laughs> well, good. Right, we'll moving shapes. We'll put that but, but Grant, you shouldn't have to drink too much monster because the role I have for you is you are only allowed to basically flame and say negative things about whatever is brought up in the game. Should be a very natural I fit for you. No, nah, I can't do that. I nah. can't do that. These are my boy. You, <laughs> King. I. You you want Can me to? Can we dethrone him already? Are you? Yeah, I don't know, but Jack, you want me to be me? Sometimes it changes is a difficult, destructive process, Grant. Sometimes you just got to go through hardship before you truly get to the other side. And All right, the uh, I'm loving my role. All right, that's that's what we're gonna go with. That's my king's decree for the day. It's decree's garbage, but all right. At least for the series. Yeah, so. but we are going to hop right into the game. We already see the drafting phase Lich banned out, as well as Furion, so two of the, the biggest ones. And look at that. On the side of Leviathan, they pick up a... You could say... Does he? Can he say something that's neutral? Okay. Can you say something that's neutral, not positive nor negative? Yeah, I have King to. Jack? Like okay, okay, I'll give you... Just if say I'm doing play-by-play, play, I observe. have to. He can just yeah. observe, I'll right? give you the reign of neutrality, but you have to... You Every time you see something... You have to put it in the worst light. You, you have All to right, gotcha. And also, I have just received word the stand-in for Digital Chaos SA is an 8K player named Frank. An 8K player named Frank. Do you Frank. think that's his real name? Do we know anything else about him? Yeah, Frank the Tank is Frank? they nicknamed him back down in Peru. Mm. He was he, he was he was he grew a real up. slaughterhouse. Yeah, man. He uh, his father was a butcher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was selling hor horse meat. Yeah. Uh, he ate horse meat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, the dude is jacked. But yeah, I, I have. We actually have no clue about him. But that I is don't his know name. What the so hell he is? Yeah. I don't know who he is. It's probably someone it faking it. But 8K Frank is yep. here, and I hope yeah. that I hope he's like amazing, and I become a fan. He just slaughters. Yeah, but so it's gonna be an interesting opening. Batrider, Night Stalker. Not the best vision game, as Jack would like me to say, but it, it's pretty good okay. On the other side, Veno and Necro, two of the most broken heroes onto one team, will be very interesting. Yeah, the, this is the most uh, cancerous lineup uh, you can get in the first two picks, Veno and Necro. Both of them are pretty much banned all the time, especially Necro. Yeah. Uh, Seems like VSJ has done some homework. Uh, banning AA, picking normal heroes. You say can't yeah. the cost. That wasn't a very positive thing to say, man. I, I'm uh, just these two uh, completely marvelous and amazing heroes you want to get in the first phase. Uh, look at this um, beautiful face of Necrolite. Even more. <laughs> How does that sound, King? All right, all right. We're, we're, it's a work in progress, the cost. Yep, we are going to see bands coming from Pugna as well as the Rasta from Team Leviathan. Over there, man, we are just seeing... I mean, they've, they've already picked Brood. There's a reason for that. But Brood has been second banned out by uh, a lot of teams. And uh, we've only really seen it once. And there we go. Silencer. Instant picked up. Yeah, it's, uh, Silencer... <laughs> Should be a decent hero here. Silence are working pretty good here outside the cast as well. Can you just stop getting hit by Curse a bit and you'll be able to speak? But uh, he does end up coming out third. And while we're not seeing Brood, I just want to go back to Brood for a second. I wonder if it's because... Is it just popping up in maybe a lot of scrim play or something? It, it might be. I know it's popping up in a lot of like in-house and just lower MMR. Like, you know when you're an 8K player and you're in a 6K MMR game? I mean, you want to play that because it's a very stompy hero. People aren't going to have detection. not going to be able to kill you and... 
Maybe people are just feeling a lot better on that arrow. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, just experimenting over here, Grant. You were saying? You do oh, you're good. My, my bad, King. Didn't mean to interrupt <laughs> you. Uh, what, silencer here, obviously, very good versus Batrider, right? He jumps in if you somehow get the silence off yep. before, but even if you don't, like, say he does lasso you, you're s they're still not going to have any follow-up if you silence him. It's just uh, uh, a very bad counter. Yeah, but he's also good. Does my mic even work? Yeah, it's working. Uh, it sounds great. Sound he's good, good against Batrider because Batrider's sticking a palm cooldown is, what, one, two seconds, and yep. uh, just recasting spells against Arcane Curse is just... Uh, all I right. thought I remember, like, Nushim. Didn't Nushim play Wisp at all? You know, just no one going for yeah. Wisp. You didn't want to do, like, Wisp Necro while you have that potential to be really, really disgusting. Yeah, he did. I believe he actually played it when... He did. He played on Team Red during the TI qualifiers when they had... It was like Franz would play Spearbreaker and he'd play Wisp and they'd just run some crazy stuff at you. He does play... We just haven't seen Wisp once, huh? Yeah, Band or pick. It's just, like, not the thing unless it was EG for some reason playing yeah. in this qualifier. But even then, like, who knows? But... Yeah. All right, you haven't seen this guy very much, though. Witch Doctor, yeah. Um, still one of the best level one supports, maybe level one and two supports in lane and roaming. Stun Maldix, both very strong. Stop talking about me. Jax, that's you. Uh, Jax got some company over right now. <laughs> I that was the whispers. Uh, that was not the whispers I expected. I, you know, I'm just trying things out. Please, please don't let me uh, distract yeah, I'm sorry, King. King. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Spearbreaker now picked up on Leviathan just after we talk uh. about it. More than likely, it, it's looking like obviously that's the support duo. Spearbreaker and Silencer. So one very active one, maybe one a little more passive who can dominate a lane. And uh, they, have a, they have a pretty strong lineup right now. Necro is going to, I believe Sammy Boy has been playing it a lot in his game, so that's probably going to be middle, and then Venno could either be off lane. I believe off lane. No, BSJ plays it. Did you just say there's a strong lineup, Grant? No, absolutely not. I said it's a very strong-looking lineup if they wish to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you like the lineup? Look, look at the damage over time. You have a uh, Heartstopper Aura, you have Venno, plus uh, Arcane Curse. How does my s s voice sound differently right now. Sounds, Sounds good to us. to us. Yeah. Just keep going. Sounds all right. good to us. Maybe you just didn't realize how dumb you sounded all this time. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Grant. That's the Grant I want to <laughs> see. And yeah. here. Oh, Juggernaut. Oh, Brutal, savage, yeah. ranked. Five seconds. Uh, Juggernaut, that's... That's a very... I know what standard the, pick, yeah, right? Yeah, I know what Dakota will say. Whenever you see a Jug, this is the... Uh, thing you say, like Jag is the hero you can always fit in every pretty much yeah. lineup. You need a pusher, alright, that's Jag. You need a healer, that's Jag. You need a super early game, that's Not Jag. Wrong. You need a late game, Jug that's Jag. Is and he's been like that for the past uh, 64 versions. Uh, Jug is probably like the most Dota 2 hero in the game. Or Dota what does that hero. Mean? <laughs> just or most Dota hero. It's just, I feel like he's just been this kind of hero since I've played him in Dota 1, getting five Perseverances. True. Everyone loved doing that. Boots travel five purse. That's just a classic. <laughs> uh, Tinker band out. Yeah, no wonder you guys out. never made it to the pro scene. Yeah. Excuse, well, I mean, we're learning. Five Excuse me. Perseverances. Who are you? Just shut up. <laughs> just kidding, Grant. I need to be good. Yeah, you Grant, need to be nice. Jack, so Jack, Jack, where's this guy's monster at? This guy needs to like, chug like four of them already. This guy is saltier than the salty There player. we go. You have to make some adjustments and changes to fit into this team. That you know, Majesty, uh, can you hand me a rehab from your mighty no, fridge yeah, over even, there? I'll even hand you the oh. monsters myself. Thanks, man. You guys love rehabs. Would, you just like, like... This is uh, what Jack is doing right now with your monster. That's a uh, uh, Midas touch. King Midas touch. touch. Yeah, oh. go. Whatever oh, you get, he's blind. Blessing. That's a uh, very that's golden monster. Lacoste. I like this uh, already. Yeah. yeah, what what Jack's doing over there being a dumbass? <laughs> <laughs> Grant, what flavor do you want? <laughs> oh, Grant, I'm gonna reward you with a monster. Oh, you got one already. There we go. I might need one during the capture. We're starting the to game. hit our stride here. We the are. Chemistry is coming in. Let's do it. Uh, Queen of Pain, last picked now by DCSA. Obvious. I, I believe it is gonna be a Necro middle. And a Venno safe lane. What, what do you think they should pick in the off lane if that's true? What cost? Uh, you need a kind of a in initiator or something classic. Maybe I don't know, a Tide Hunter. Maybe even a Centaur, so you can just uh, initiate, follow up with uh, with the Global Silence. They have a Spirit Breaker who is good at that, but I think uh, they still need something stronger. Yeah. Let me just check the heroes. I'll cheat. Yeah, I kind of. 
like what the Tide, the problem is, right, Tide versus Batrider, isn't that pretty bad for Tide if they, they match up? I don't know. If Tide versus who? Batrider. Why, why would it be versus it's good for the Because, they, I mean, you're going to assume. It, it's not going to be, but yeah, there it is. Sammy Boy will be middle on the Necro. No, Jenkins Venom, so it's going to be a safe lane faceless and... I guess Leviathan taking a page out of VGJ with the offlane Venomancer. We saw Snake King playing quite a bit. Dude, that is a dank Witch Doctor set. I actually have never seen it. Yeah, that, I only that's watched the Dota one no from one has the... It. Oh, you said the, the, that, the that was sound one, pretty... No, this pretty is a nice terrible game, set. This is one of the worst sets I've ever seen in the game. I Which actually one? hate it. You can't this get any one. booty with that set. Well, no, oh, that set nice, is so good. Sick. Yeah, it's so bad. Why? So, so okay, bad. I, I'm gonna All right, we need to get into the rolls, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the role. No, I actually, if we're being completely serious, that's a six set on Witch Doctor. Um, oh, they swapped, I think? Or did they? BSJ's now on Necro? I actually didn't see. They're, they're, we're about to find out. Um, BSJ is on Necro, so it's going to be a... Are they just going to completely Boy swap Void. roles then, or are they going to put Void Middle against... Oh, no, they... S I, I don't know. There, there, there's the a lot swap, of... Oh. The, the swap. Jesus Christ, I would like to swap blame you so much now, Grant, but I can't. Swap meta is just unreal. That's yeah, the point. Swap meta the is cost. insane. Sometimes we have to we have to control ourselves. Yeah, the cost, too. you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, another pause. Uh, three for three pauses. I can definitely get in on this. Uh, pausing, right? So you're you're, yeah. you're supposed to be on the game on time, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. we're there. Yeah, we're here. Yeah. So maybe you guys should be ready beforehand. Why are you pausing? The only reason you should ever pause a game is if there's pizza at the door. I will allow that. I don't care. Uh, your 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 brother fell down the stairs. Well, guess what? Maybe he should learn to walk. The pizza's at the door. He can't come in. You need to get that sweet, yeah, yeah. cheesy goodness. Your wife goodness. is giving birth. Uh, just postpone it. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, you shouldn't be playing games. Yeah, exactly. There, like, you got to be responsible. Yeah. You exactly. But exactly. Really. You need to focus on the game 100%. Yeah. You don't want your wife to call you, get me to the hospital and shit. Yeah. All right, Absolutely. hold on here. My hockey's reset. I'm just going to... Well, I think, yeah, it's like... Because I think we're on, you know... Since we're all three on LAN, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's not changing, you know... I don't know. I don't know computers. I can barely set up a computer. I tried to plug in like a Pentium one time. A Pentium? Yeah, a Pentium X7 processor with the D5 organs on the inside. Oh, yeah. yeah I've heard yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, it didn't work out very uh, well. A lot maybe of you didn't have enough lubricant. Did you set it on fire? Oh, yeah, I did. And then I got a new computer. Wow, your parents are rich, huh? Oh, no. I, I mean, I, I work at a job with cost. Well, you need to work because they, you can't uh, make a living... Looks like this. we're ready. Yeah, that's true. I just want to give a shout out to the sidewalks for coming out the streets. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> hear you the, over the they game. They got the attack on Titan. He team. is bathroom. Are you serious? Bathroom, that is absolutely hmm. not an okay pause I have a thought. ever. I used the bathroom before the game. You should watch the South Park episode. <laughs> Which one? All right, I'm definitely going to miss oh, kills. The one with my heart one. Yeah, 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 the one right. with the Warcraft 3. Yeah, yeah. Well, World on the bright side, you get to drink Monster if and when you miss those kills. Yeah, World of Warcraft, I will be missing Warcraft plenty. The hotkeys are not yeah. right. That's my mistake. All right, so only one TP actually coming out. It's going to be from the Dire side. Master Kenshiro, a.k.a. Slayer. We're just going to call him Slayer. Maybe we'll call him both. I don't know. But Jenkins going to run down bottom. He has boots first on the offlane Venno. And, well, the Batrider will spot out Slayer. And I think they know that ward's there. He's just standing right on top of it, my boy Frank. Where's Frank? Where is he? Who's... He's uh, the middle rider, I believe. Bat rider, just the Frank yeah. player. Okay. I well. didn't just make that up, by the way. That's what production actually told me his name was Frank. In case yeah. you guys think I'm crazy, I'm not. Yeah, I don't know how you're taking all the credit, like uh, saying all these things that production shows, and uh, people actually think you're. I just, I just and gave smart. him a shout out. Hey, Lacoste. I no, believe usually. that's a drink of monster right now, but. All right. Yeah, keep it positive, Lacoste. We need you to bring the sunshine and rainbows to this broadcast. <sighs> uh, Stout shield plus orb of venom. On a Spirit Breaker, that makes you so potent in lane. It looks like it's just going to be two for two rune exchange here. Nothing crazy. And it is. We, we, we've been getting a lot of uh, NA versus SA Jack, what, what yeah. does this mean? Bula Wella. It means uh, it basically it's unplayed. Like, you can't, can't play it. Like, we're done. We're screwed, basically. Oh, he's going to lose this rune. Nice pickup there, actually. It's going to be a three for one rune because King Tech is playing middle, by the way. That is, that is definitely a change. So the other guy must be an offline yeah, only player. And he changed player. his name back to King Tekka. He's not Queen, Queen Tekka. He's got a shout yeah, out to Zeta. Yeah, that's why he changed the position as well because it's not the same player. Yeah, the King plays uh, the middle role for sure. His name is in honor sure. of his fallen brother Zeta. Yep. Yeah. 
And there we go, Sam. Oh, no, they did switch back, so thank you. It actually was the double switch. Sammy Boy back in middle. You know, I, I know my players. I know what heroes are going to play. Come on, guys. Uh, it's going to be an interesting game because he doesn't have Blink. He could just get harassed so hard. Charge comes out. He's Orb of Venom. Does he have a Heartstopper aura first? Uh, it does damage. <laughs> interesting. Har well, why do you get Heartstopper aura does first? damage? Why? Mm, I guess why just to oh, harass at the lane will... What is he going to go for? Uh, Matthew killed the chicken on the backside for Dyer, so that is not good for the Necro early. That is... I I've seen other people do it, but isn't like... I guess the AoE is not that bad. It just like stops a little bit of Tango. Huh. Yeah, but look at his HP. He's losing two, three, even three per second. What? You're right, you're right. It's that a lot. A lot, actually. Yeah, oh, top lane, we have possible initiation. No, it's just new, Sham. Being a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> Taunting him. Yeah. What's your guys' favorite taunt in the game? I really like the tight on back swim. All oh, right, I'm with you. I love the line. I just love how he actually is dancing. Oh yeah, yeah. I think line and lash. I don't think uh, this uh, gives Queen of Pain much advantage besides the gold that uh, they actually killed the chicken. I mean, yeah. Necro has uh, region Sustain, with the yeah. death pulse, plus he also brought healing salve already, so he's good to go. On the other side, you have a Queen of Pain who has no region left besides one shared tango. Uh, he's bringing, uh, he's bringing health one health. healing cell, but look at Necro being so aggressive already between tier 1 and tier 2 tower. Yep. Oh, and he actually blinks forward so his health potion stays. That's smart play. Bottom lane looks like Jenkins actually getting gone on. They're going to throw out the stun. Here comes the spin, but he's already galed. And if you didn't know, spin does not talk, uh, take off the gale. So that's cool. yeah, a you little bit spin rough. Before. Yep. So nice play there. Knowing that, Jenkins just runs out of here. Going to pick up some bounty runes if he can. Go uh, looks like bottom, we have a charge, or top, pardon me, charge coming on Batrider, but he is level 2, so we will get some bash. We're going to see TB's already coming out from the Night Stalker. And that's the end of that. It feels like this game wants to ramp up, but it just hasn't. You know, when you have a Spear Breaker and a Night Stalker, kills mm -hmm. are going to start happening. But both teams playing very safe in their off lanes right now. I love the Spirit Breaker and Silencer combo. If they are on the same lane, they have a good kill potential yeah. and uh, just give... Silencer some extra smart early. Yep. And actually, I mean, we look at the last, it's denies 11-3 versus 15-7 in the mid lane, so Quap does a good job even after not having that regen. He's out of it again, though. So he could be in a little bit of trouble, maybe pushed out of lane if Sammy Boy wants to push. Maybe not top lane, though. We're going to get a little bit of slow on the bat. Now they're going to go and actually Slayer's getting turned on. Matthew is only level 1, though, surprisingly, and he's just squaring up on him, has three sticky napalms, and they just get out. See, it looks like that. people want to fight. But it's not happening. Now bottom lane. Here we go. He is going to be able to get the spin off now. And Jenkins should be going down. King RD. Oh, I believe we'll go down. He's going to get denied. Him, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nicely done there. That's a double kill, actually. Yep. I got, I got them both. So. Oh, here comes the charge. Is he going to go for this? Yeah, he's still pushed up very far. Here comes... Oh, he's going for it. There's no way he doesn't. He's charging in, eating a tank. Surprise, motherfucker. He comes. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets another bash. BSJ's in a lot of trouble. He. Oh, he doesn't... He forgot. Sticky Napalm kind of messes with your turn rate and doesn't get his Q off. Now Nusham getting chased down, stunned up, maledicted hard. I believe Nusham's going to die. He's charging in onto the Night Stalker. They're just going to right, just right click him, Matthew. Matthew's now looking for Slayer, though. They might not get either of them because of that. And Ooh, that was a big mistake by Matthew, mistake, but yeah. maybe the hotkeys were wrong. Got to stay positive. Yeah, for sure. It could happen. You never know. It happens with Dakota, and Dakota's one of the best observers I know. Dang. Oh, he might get he's him, one of the actually. worst I've ever seen. Garbage. Whoa. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, Rune gets stolen by Matthew. Newsham. This is Orb of Venom versus Orb of Bash. Venom. 17%. He has a stab Never mind. Oh, handled. And here we go. The curse. One auto attack would get him the kill, but I don't think he will get it. See that? Oh, just never doubt Matthew, you know. And you said they wanted to get frisky. It just took yeah. that first nightfall, really, to start yeah, kicking in and that timing around it. And we see middle lane now. The worst Pretty feeling even. Uh, when you're playing Silencer, uh, getting kills and you being out of range to get that extra end. Yeah. Uh, so Batrider only level 3, while on the bottom lane the Veno is actually level 4 and he's doing a good job. This is this is the, like the promo code Jenkins. Like, we didn't see Snake King pull at all with his wards and stuff, but Jenkins is doing a good job controlling the jungle so he can't even get ganked from this side while he's killing the neutral creeps and the lane creeps. Actually very good. Well, that's the difference. One is Jenkins, one is Snaking. True that. Snaking is... Uh, not sure if that was <laughs> negative or not, but... Uh, no, no. What oh, Jenkins is getting initiated on. Nice silence come. He is a little bit slow. Nope, but Jenkins will go down. 
And just like that, after all that praise, the commentators curse heaven. Here comes a charge in. New Sham, get a cancel it. And dude, Matthew was level one like 30 cents ago. Now he's just level three. He's actually beating the Spirit Breaker out. That's all it takes. One or two kills. Sammy Boy Middle is in a lot of trouble. He's getting that full heal, though, because, you know, he's an Acrophos. He's going to throw the ulti. Will it be enough? Oh. It isn't, but he will get the right click. And, I mean, at this point in the game, I don't think getting the kill with Scythe means that much. Just getting yep. the kill in general does. And he did it. And that's huge. Uh oh, they're going in now. But here they comes the charge. Kill King Guard D. They're going to go. If he gets one bash, it's Buy a back from sure Queen kill. of Pain. Yep, nothing going on. Sammy Boy going to try to run away. Wait, where did. It? Oh, Queen of Pain with the huge ulti now. New Sham trying to run. He's going to go down. Is this so worth it? Let me do the math. Uh, he died, uh, bought back probably 200 gold, got the XP plus the XP from the... Yeah, it's worth Shared it. Shared it, though. Yeah, we'll say it. worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. He already doesn't have the less gold coming from yep. the buyback, so oh, it's if all he gets good. his last hit. Yeah, no, it's not worth it's it not anymore. It's not worth it, yeah. Oh, bottom lane. Does a charge come in the Juggernaut, who is super poisoned up. He's still going to be a little bit far away. Oh, I think Matthew needs to stay by him to void. He has to know someone's charging in, or... Let's, let's see, he's going for it. Oh, and he actually gets the next Poison Sting off from that ward. Here we go, charge comes in. One more bash, doesn't need it. Level 1 Gale, enough to snipe him out in middle lane. They're just squaring up. This is a, yep, here we go, the action started, Dakota, I told you. You did, I just Grant. knew. You did. How's we had a boy Frank kills? doing on top? Uh, he's level 4, he's not five. the best. Also, I love the build on BSJ. He went for one uh, level of time dilation. Uh, for that so bat rider. For that really bat, good, right? bat rider. More slow combined with Arcane Curse. I mean, Frank will not move. Yeah. Might be the tank, but uh, move slowly. Will be the janky tanky for sure. Uh, phase Boots almost on Necro. No, but he's actually getting at Raindrops. Huh. Uh, I mean, that's the right play. Plus a Phase Boots. Oh, yeah, sorry, Jack. Oh, Are we boring shit. you? Jack's bored. Is the king not appeased? No, you know, just, just taking, taking some rest here. All right, no, that's fair. You're I'll the drink king. some monster energy to wake me up, but you're gonna have to step up the negativity, Grant. This I mean, you can also fall asleep. Jack, this isn't don't even as salty you. as you normally are, Grant. What's going on? That's because I'm, I don't, you know, I. I just hate trying to fan the flames here. I'm not fan. I mean, Jack, why don't you fan the flames? What What do you see? Just watch the game. Oh yeah, here we go. Jenkins coming in. He's gonna get stunned up. Now we're gonna see Night Stalker run an easy kill again on Jenkins. Here comes New Sham charging in. Looks like he has a double damage. He actually does. And he's just going to smack him. There it is. He gets the bash, so the wards do a little bit more damage. Trying to chase no, Arcane Curse. going to go slow down. Him down. And who's going to get the kill, though? Looks like Silencer will pick it up. Gets the plus. He gets the minus two on the other side. Wow. Yeah, Silencer with the plus two. Yep, and here we go. They're actually going back in again. New Sham's here. Oh, he's going to get ulted on, but it bounces over to Jenkins. New Sham should oh. die. He wants to bash him into the tower once. BSJ's here now. Is he going to hit him with the chrono? Nope. Time dilate him. No reason to waste it. Aquila plus poor man shield. So tanky, but BSJ gets the kill. And a nice turnaround. They're only down by about three kills. Not even that much gold, actually. Uh, and an early rotation. We see BSJ. He's always loved the Link, the, the the shadow build, right? Lincoln's first. This game it's needed uh, because of the pretty much the bat rider. Just remove the whatever yeah. night stalker can not lock you down. Right. Silence or slow, but uh, it does not give you that uh, much farm potential for the next uh, couple of minutes. Yeah. I don't know. If, does he have a ring coming? Yeah, Ooh. plus clarity. Ooh. He'll have enough for a chrono oh, if he uses lane. a magic wand. Yep, top man. lane as well. Top lane as well. Looks like that guy's going to be fine, but Batrider might not be. He has chrono up still. He's got that time dilation hit from halfway across the map. Damn, and there we go. Chrono's going to fly out. Change the power threads. Yeah. Are we going to see? Will he get bash, one more bash? bash? He needs it. Oh, wait up. Noosh. Wait, where's he going to go? Whoop. Hey there. Oh, he's whoa. a oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, That's just breaking the physics <laughs> of Dota right there for sure. Yeah, they all three just tried to jump over, and they all landed on different sides. Smoke gank coming. King mm. RD and Matthew. Bottom lane, but no one's there. No bashes. Lucky for Beth Rider. I think one bash, like the very first hit of Chrono, so just like 20 yeah, damage. From or whoever. Yeah. 17 percent, yep. or the just the bash percentage, 15. Dyer has to know two. something's up. Oh, it's a bash percentage, guys. 15 percent on level two. Yeah, it's 10, 15, 20, 25, right? Yeah. All right. And bottom tower just goes down. Radiant takes it, so Juggernaut misses the last hit. We actually get to see a charge coming in now, but he's getting avoided up. Matthew in the perfect position to stop that gank. Juggernaut missed the last hit uh, on purpose, so the team gets more gold. No, I think he just missed it because he's Garbanzo beans. Just a hunch, though. Middle lane. This is the battle oh, wait, of good lane. versus evil. Pardon me. BSJ's going in. A bash, no chrono. He got another bash. Do you like the... 
Is the max time walk needed in this lane uh, over max bash? I don't think so. Maybe it's Depends just the BSJ uh, thing. Well, if he had the uh, 10% more bash chance, maybe he could have scored the uh, one, more maybe damage, even yeah. two, two kills. Yeah. Oh, but here we go. King RD is charged. Will he get the stun off in time? He doesn't, but actually now it does. It will bounce between them, and he'll be safe. And we missed oh. a kill bottom, actually, and a kill middle. Oh, my good. Dakota, did you get one of those? I didn't. I got the middle, not right, the nice. bottom. They're still going in. Frank? Oh, Neck Frank, the tank is going He's down. Dead. Nice. Sammy Boy is actually going in right now. And Matthew's in a lot of trouble, too. He has the death pulse, and it's fall on him. One more right click doesn't need it. He nice. melts him with that heart stopper, level three. It was three. Now it's four. And look at He's going for more. Sammy Boy is nuts. He's got phase boots up. He doesn't give a fuck. He's just going to go in. There we go. Will he throw it a Q? It will. It flies over the tree. Maybe you don't he needs need to start giving a fuck. This <laughs> might be. I think he's going to get the kill, though, but is that worth it? This jug is going to get jacked Old up. Man, don't give a fuck. Oh, this silencer Slayer. is in trouble. Face boots. Let me see the move speed. 372, 455. Oh, yeah. You're, he you're going right down. Quick. He does have global up or something of his team. Look at look at BSJ. BSJ just hit in the tower casually. He does get it. This is just space. Stick spin, stick spin. And they hit the kill. BSJ did get the tower though. Yeah. Um, maybe he should have helped his teammate out, but he got the. I, I can't be negative, Jack. It's not in me. You know what I mean? I'll take it. I'm like super thirsty, and I did miss one of those kills, even though they were at the same time. And there's no human out yeah. there. Even the open bot AI would have missed that kill. So, Jack, are you having fun with that uh, soundboard? I'm enjoying it greatly. The cost. Uh, there is one I love to use for Grant. I think it's uh, on the third tab, or maybe fourth. Check the fourth. Or the cost. You just go ahead and focus <laughs> on being positive, and let me win. Uh, it's yeah, a know. retard oh. alert. We're going to see a kill coming bottom, possibly. New Shams here, along with BSJ King RD. He's going to run him down. And he gets the kill. Nicely done. Oh, and he got a last hit bash, so use the raindrop charge on the Witch Doctor. That actually kind of sucks for him. Damn. That's actually rough. So I'm a min maxer, if you guys didn't know. Yeah. Minimum brain power, maximum strength. Something. Yeah, okay. Good looks. Middle lane. They want to get this tower. Should be a pretty easy tower kill, actually. But now Sammy Boy's just going to back out. They do have Glyph up again. Maybe that's why they didn't go, since they did kill bottom tower. This is looking good. This is a turnaround from Leviathan. They're technically down one kill, but they're up some net worth. And there we go. Last rain drop charge on King RD. Burned away by Sandy Boy. They're going to initiate on him. Here comes the stun. They need to get that Maldoc off early. Nope. There we go. Silence comes out. He can't break it. He's going to get bashed. Are they just going to ult him? Nope. They are not. And we're just going to see Necrophos go back. Oh, and BSJ on the backside. It's a two-man chrono going in. Will they be able to bring him down? He spins, but he gets... Oh, he's just going to get the place. No kill. Finish him. <laughs> Jack's and going crazy over Lusham there. Sham tries to. They pull back Necrophos. He should die here. He has Maledict on him. Will he blow up? Nope. Raindrop helps a little. Quab going forward. Does he have Blink? BSJ. Slayer gets it. Did you just say brain drop? <laughs> I think it's Headshot. And there we go. BSJ going forward again. He gets the first hit. Let's bash. Get Another bash bashes. from that. Nice. And here we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Done there. I don't even know if we're casting Dota anymore. It's just Jack hitting <laughs> random buttons. <laughs> this is fun. This is the greatest part of being king. You can press whatever buttons you want. I mean, he's not wrong. He's pressing king. your buttons while you're trying to cast. Yeah, know. he is. And, you know, I'm still doing a better job observing and casting than he ever has. That's why he's the king, though. <laughs> Good stuff, Grant. Keep that's him that's off. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to hear, Grant. <laughs> no, honestly, Jack, you know the only king you're not better than? Time is king here. Louis 16. Well, I was going to say <laughs> none of them, but... <laughs> well played. All right, so we have a, a first item. What, what do you think of Venno's build? I know it's off lane, so it's not like crazy, but just brown boot solar crest. Do you like it? No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he means yes with a hint of no. No, he's yes, yes, is no. Uh, I don't like it's, it. It's weird. What's it for? Uh, just and you want the uh, obviously. I mean, there's no right click damage on the side of DCSA besides uh, jug ulti and no. some right clicks. So maybe a magic wand just to survive, but uh, I can't really question Jenkins. Yep. Maybe it helps him do Roche. Maybe a four staff would have been a better choice. Uh, maybe even Veil, they have uh, enough. Okay, they have uh, a veil on Necro, Necro yeah. has a Veil, never mind. Play. That looks like top lane. They actually find BSJ, but he time walks forward and he might avoid, but oh, my friend, Master Kenshiro, will drop the Samurai's way. 
Yeah. Who's Master Kinshiro again? What's Slayer. His? Slayer, okay. Oh, middle lane, they're charging in. Is Sandboy just going to throw out the ulti early? Nope, he does not. He might have been able to get the kill, but they find BSJ. Do they have the silence from Matthew? Will it be in time? He throws out the silence. He doesn't have a nuke. Now he does. Wands up. They're going to spin. They're going to Maldict. Will it be enough damage? It looks like he can get away. He's still Maldicted up, but he's fine. That ulti orb plus treads, that is... Four hundred easily now. Has the time walk plus the chrono ready. Yep. Oh, and here comes Samuel from the backside, already melting with that heart stopper. Look at this jug just dropping. Matthew is gonna throw out that nice pushback. Uh, bottom lane, Jenkins dies solo to a quap. Pardon me. It was yeah, a four that crest not helping. Yeah, that. He just gets veiled, ulted, and dies. Just missed another kill, Dakota. Yep. Yeah, New Sham just kills King RD. I saw that. I didn't. Oh, another one. Oh, Jesus. That one wasn't on you because you were drinking, but you better drink. Yeah, I think yeah, we'll I need a pause, same as players, to go to the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> to get another monster. If you keep missing those kills. And here we have Gray pretty much pinging out. There's probably two people farming right here. It's Batrider and Matthew. All right, Lacoste. It, it's pretty even right now. Leviathan up two kills. What's the experience graph? Experience. What do you mean up two kills? It's 13, 13. Well, not 2K. All right. I use kills to formulate the word K, which is actually sodium on the potassium table. But wow, chemistry. Get Rex Bill Nye. Yeah. Get a paper. Write it down. Albert so who's Einstein. in the lead right now? If you had to get, like the the state of the game with the items they have. Who Still feel uh, Leviathan is in the lead. Uh, yeah. Necro's getting Ooh. close to kind of a pub build uh, radiance, but yeah. uh, if he manages to get it and then tank up after that, he, he's oh. going to be pretty much impossible to take down. And Midas on Spirit Breaker to secure a little bit more farm. It's nice. Yeah, plus you have a Faceless Void with the Lincoln Sphere, which you can cast on Necro. Yep. Here's that Solar Crest coming into play now. This is yeah, this is probably a, a big reason the Solar Crest is going to be good. They can take because they're, they're not a quick because they don't have Vlads. If Faceless Void had a Vlads, it would be a lot easier to rush. But with that Solar Crest, they, they might need Necro in here, right? But Necro is bottom they now. They have he's enough damage, but it's going to take time. Yeah, but now they have this guy coming. Does he have his Relic? Nope. In a 50 gold. 50. So he'll have it after this. If he wants to show it, he might just buy the Radiance at once. I don't know. Just heal up right now. They're going to slowly take it. We have Quap farming top as well as Jug farming bottom. So this should be reasonably free. I, Radiant might know what's up, but yep. what can they do? Plus, when you go for that build on Necro and you get the plus 40 damage talent, you, you hit like a truck. You hit yeah. more than 200 damage. Plus the damage over time combined with the Heartstopper or a Venno some orb of uh, venom home yeah. plus extra maybe urn arcane curse it's, they, they need a pipe on the side of a dc maybe night stalker can buy it usually when you play against the venomancer you do tend to go for a hero on off lane that uh, buys a uh, either pipe or have a mech hero First hero that comes to my mind is a Tide Hunter because we can buy both. Well, we have an ult coming up top. Queen of Pain just gonna TP out and she'll be fine. Got the rune. Got the rune, and we do see Venno has a Dragon Lance, so he's going. He's going for the Jack's favorite build, Jack. What do you call it again? The, uh, the Neil Breaker. Yeah, that's uh, courtesy of the Franz, right? There, the Knee Breaker. Come on. Yep, they, you know. Uh oh, ulti just comes on Jenkins up top. Will he cleave over? He does. He's going to spin now. Jenkins will just drop immediately, and they might chase down someone else. It's Slayer. Will he get stunned up? King RD already using it, and he's flying out of there. Still a nice. Uh, that's a big pickup on Jenkins. Jug getting the kill. I'm surprised they're not just pushing top right now. Looks like they might try to now. He has a Manta. Bottom lane, we see the charge coming from New Sham onto King Tekka, but he's already gone. Possible bottom and top push from both teams. And the problem for DCSA is that uh, they still didn't uh, take the mid tower down, so the map did not open up. If they take the tier 2 tower on top somehow, oh. they commit to it, but uh, they do not have HP right now. Oh, that Gale just barely missed. That could have been a kill on the backside. Jug's just going to spin out. We see. Oh, he actually gets him. Wait. Oh, wow. That, that thing really adds up. Where did he. Was he yeah, in the keep it to base. Yeah, TP to base. He mm -hmm. was cursed and Gale, I guess. I thought the Gale enough. missed. He was Gale'd. I didn't see it on this thing. That's. I don't even know if he was using his Voodoo Restoration in the Fountain to help. But That'd be funny if he was just toggling it and like makes him do something. Or I don't know. That'd be hilarious. Oh, here we go. Taunt in from New He's heating up! In. He's on fire! And he gets pushed back. He is actually on fire right now. Gonna try to throw the ulti. Gonna cancel out. That should be enough to kill. Nope, not that much at all. BSG on the backside. He's gonna chrono one. It's gonna be the spinning. Oh, Matthew TP's into it. Will they be able to bring him down? They're not doing anything. That's the problem with Lincoln's. 
You don't do any damage. He's charging in, gonna get canceled up. And there we go. King Tech is about to go in. Slayer should get ulti here. He does. Oh. Easy kill. Sammy went running away. Gets stunned. Will it bounce back to him? It doesn't look like it will. He's gonna try to run away. Gets a little bit of a heal. We just see. Him running away, no radiance yet. He's gonna get held, brought back, plenty of physical damage. Now Charge comes in, they're turning it around. Will they be able to bling down the Bat Rider? Oh my goodness, almost one shot with that Solar Crest. Sammy Boy's still alive, does he have anything? He has the Aegis, he doesn't care. King RD gonna get first oh. hit bashed by the young BSJ himself, and what a turnaround. Anyone else? Matthew getting chased down by Jenkins, but he's gonna keep it cool. The thing is, you don't want to go on Necro and uh, at all, ever, pretty yeah. much. If you can take him down, there was a Global Silence. Uh, Plus, the Necro had Aegis, uh, pretty much impossible to kill him. Uh, good play by BSJ, though. Uh, the ulti from Necro did not connect because of the healing ward he put down, so he actually healed him up, also spinned, so he could not deal any magical damage in the Chrono. Yeah. Props to promo code BSJ. Yep, and there we go. They're taking Middle Tower. Who's going to get the last hit? Jenkins. And a killer. And he almost has a full Hurricane Pike now. They're looking good. They're up 3k. They're only up one kill, but... As you know, kills, they tell a different story, you know? That's why you have the Van Goghs and the what? Uh, who else is an artist? Who's that guy who stacks soup cans? Andy Warhol. Now, that's a real artist. <laughs> I actually love Andy Warhol because this stuff's what realistic. What are you talking about? Uh, he, he's an art. You, you know Picasso, right? Yes. The guy who just throws up on a canvas and people think it's art? Yeah. Andy Warhol is actually real. BSJ's dead. That's all no, right. No, he's there. not dead yet. No. Yeah, he is dead. But King Tank is getting charged right now. We get to see a Gale. He uses into midair. Jenkins, though, still in trouble. The charge isn't coming through fast enough. This Jug's getting crits every other hit. He brings him down. Void's going to come up. New Sham in a lot of trouble. But Sammy Boy's here going to throw out his ult. Will it be enough? It is. See you later, Alligator. Charge comes in. Uh, that was actually the ulti. King RD gets thrown back. We are going to see a Maldict up on the Necrophos. But this Bat Rider's getting melted down with that Radiance Heart Stopper. New Sham charges, gets the kill, and... That AoE, the, the Heartstopper plus Heart Radiance, got Radiance. like two plus, of those. Yeah, plus you have a Veil of Discord, which yeah. increases your magical damage from Radiance as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, new Shams Midas off cooldown, sorry. Uh. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's the worst thing, right? It really, it actually is one of the worst things in Dota. If you're trying to be a pro player, do you think people like look at the scoreboard and they're like, this guy had okay gold per minute. What if you just cast it at five seconds earlier each time? That GPM's flying. I don't know. King, what do you think about Midas's? Should you buy him if you don't use him? I think you can answer that one, Grant. Dang. No, you shouldn't. That's a stupid play. If you're going to buy it for the passive Midas, just buy a goddamn Moon Shard. What do you think, Lacoste? What's the positive spin on that? Uh, say again? All what? right, let's move on to the game here. All right, thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Uh, Nothing too crazy happening right now. You just see the Faceless Void going for a Yasha. And he's just trying to farm up right now. Radiant standing. Maybe get a smoke up, but they are not yet. Juggernaut as well as Witch Doctor. Sitting around the Ancients here. BSJ farming. Uh, hmm. Is he going to go for Yash? He's going for Yash into Manta. So not even going to Defusal until after Manta. Possible smoke gain coming from the Radiant side. Mm. We're going to see King Taka. Oh. Looks like they're just pushing into middle. Well, I've been currently sitting on about a 5k advantage. Yeah. I mean, is is that enough for the position they're in? Oh, here we oh. go. They're gonna actually going to go on Necropos. He doesn't have anything. He gets ulted straight up, though. Will it be enough? They do. They bring him down immediately. Now they're going to go for Nusham. He gets purged up. He's going to go down. Nicely B done. Here comes BSJ. Three-man Chrono. Can he bring anyone down, though, without the Necropos, who did just buy back? Here comes Jenkins. Throws out that ult. Uh-oh. Spaghetti was King RD about to just get chunked down. He gets ulted. And, well, it's a two-for-two two trade, but double buyback? No, was that a triple buyback? Wait up. No, just double. New Sham as well as the Venno, and they actually bring down Jug. Where is that guy at? Did I miss that? I didn't. Oh, he was just on the back. You got it? All right, thanks, Dakota. No problem, boss. And here we go. Charge already up top on King Tay. He's just going to blink TP this time. They'll get vision of where he TPs to and then cancel it. And the base. Or will he cancel it? This guy's going. Go. Down. He's going. Go. Go. Is he go. at? Go. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? They're pushing the base now. No buybacks from Juggernaut. He has it, but he's not going to use it. Witch Doctor is not alive. They're just going to siege him. If they can somehow get this tier 3 and just back up, they're going to be happy. Nice. He saw him use two of his skills, so he time dilates, has to Yules out of it. And they should be able to bring this tower down and just back up. Maybe go for shrines for the extra gold, I think. 
No, B, they, they want to keep going. They do so much damage, actually, now. No Glyph is currently available. They're just going over a melee rex at 25 minutes off the back of double buyback push. Oh, but look who they found. The Global Silence comes. Oh. The Fawn Fire. He yules in the midair. Will he live? Batrider might not. King Tekka might not. Just the Bat Rider dies, and Juggernaut is now in. They get the melee barracks. They're trying to run Sammy Boys and Latro. He just used buyback. He needs to run. Nice ulti from Newsham. He's charging in. The double stun now. Matthew should just get right click down. He does. Juggernaut, do we have an ulti from Necro? Doesn't look like 19 cents. Oh. Easy ulti on the backside by Team Tekka. And we see no one actually dies from that, though, and now he's dead. Uh, did they just win the game? They may have. They just were ready to go swinging. I think the follow-up global silence yeah. being available just really wrecked them on that comeback play. That's why they initially, they initially started this whole fist of cuffs was knowing they had the advantage that the global silence was not up and ready. But yeah, you know, All thirty right, seconds later, like I'm back. Hey, welcome back, brother. Lacoste, not too used to American electronics here. We have like what Samsung. Coleco yeah, that's Vision. Uh, that's uh, American indeed. Samsung. Yeah. Coleco right. Vision. We have Sony. Atari. Yeah, yeah. I, I love this shit. And that, I mean, that's what we do. We do see New Sham, though. Midas treads. Almost a Shadow Blade. You know, th this one's for the super, not even super noobs. Maybe just some people. Did you know when you're charging, you can click Shadow Blade and it doesn't cancel your charge? I know you do. A lot of people don't know that, though. It's a good thing yeah, to know. It's a very good thing. Items while charging. Yep. Jack, did you know that? Because I've seen your Spear Breaker play. I don't, uh, I don't know. What items I'm charging? Yeah. Yeah, of course. You can't use Glimmer <laughs> out of charge, actually, on another person, though. Oh. Just so you knew. I figured you didn't know that. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to teach you. Trying to teach the noobs, Jack, everyone else in chat. We appreciate it, Grant. So you're welcome. Uh, Mr. Harris. Sammy Boy. Isn't it crazy a Necro can just have no stat items and have 1,700 HP? He has one What do you wand. mean? He has Wand. He has Veil. Yeah, he Veil has, uh, gives plus you six strength. Yeah, plus he gives you plus six all stats on level 15. Yeah, but that, I mean, that's a lot. This, isn't that why this hero is good? My man six has strength ton. plus uh, four. That's 10 plus uh, that's 16 plus all stats. <laughs> yeah, that's 3,200. That's not that much. Yeah, but it's 1.7k I mean HP. That's not too, too much. Look I at mean, the Night Stalker. He has Magic Wand. I mean, he's a strength hero. But he's hero. a strength hero, yeah. Uh, bottom tower gonna get pushed in. Slayer's actually did. They're gonna go for top. Do they have anything? He's gonna ulti him to cancel the TP, and that will be enough. He is gonna go out of it. Do we have anything? Global Science flies, and this guy is going down. He did, though, get the tower top. He didn't, but the creeps did. My man Cartman's still alive, and he's dead. Hmm. They need to get the hands on Roche somehow, DCSA, if they, they should probably know it's up. Uh, maybe try to smoke, and that's their their way to get back into the game. They have a Diffuse Blade ready on Jug, so they can actually kill Necro. Yeah. But... He has to time it correctly and not get bashed yeah, by Spear It's gonna breaker. be hard to fight into Chrono. They don't have a Global Silence, but still... And, well, you said DCSA needs to get their hands on Roche. It looks like Dire is gonna try to do it here. They do have Global in 80, so they do not have it at all. Yeah, I'm fight. staying positive. Usually I would just say Leviathan will kill the Roche and just finish the game from there, but... Yeah, you, I mean, DCSA is about to do some sick combos. They might. King RD throws down the Sentry what, Ward. What combos exactly? Oh, a uh, cask into something. And here we go. Sansar's going to get taken down immediately. He didn't have Global up anyways, though. Are they going to be able to finish Roche before they come in? Yep, Roshan goes down. That's Aegis and Cheese. They're going to charge in. Night Stalker will get hit. Ulted up on... And there it is, big ulti from Venno actually hits on three of them. Chrono on the backs only going to hit the support Witch Doctor, and Dire Courier actually goes down. That's his Manta style for BSJ, which, I mean, that, that might have just saved him the game right there. Once again, the problem is uh, they still did not uh, take the tower on mid, tier one tower on the mid lane 30 minutes in. You know, something is wrong when that happens. Yeah, for sure. Tier I mean, up. yes, you're playing against Venomancer, against uh, Necro, it's hard to push into that. Necro, Veil, Blink, right? Wh where does Necro go now? Does he get... Where does he go? Ags, Shiva's Ags. 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 Probably. He can even go, like, all-in pub build Octarine core. Yep. Think, yeah, I think Ags is probably right. It's probably the best. And look at this. He's just melting. He doesn't even have to hit the creeps and they all just die. Bottom lane, BSJ. Says hello to King Tekka and that's about it. Yeah, so his Manta, Faceless Void, does have Manta. Unfortunately, it's on the chicken. The ulti orb. He's going Blink next, obviously. Blink's a far better initiation tool than Time Walk since it's instant. And it seems like maybe Radiant's going for a smoke gank here. Do they have one? 
So our uh, boy Frank might need to find a job in his own horse butcher store. Yeah, and they do not even have a smoke, so Radiant might just five-man gank with with no smoke. And the Dyer had a ward over him that entire time. And they're just out. Yeah, they knew that was coming. And he didn't go Shadowblade. He ended up going Heaven's Halberd. I started pronouncing that correctly, guys. It used to be Halbred. It just yeah, sounds better. Yeah, it was Halbred, but then, it, you know. Yeah. All right. Oh, he's going to go Lincoln's on Necrophos. So maybe just worried about that silence or from the Night Stalker. Blocks uh, that's just things. for the Bath Rider initiation, I guess. Uh, yeah. Bath Rider needs to get... Uh, Yule Scepter up if he wants to initiate on someone who has uh, Lincoln Sphere. Otherwise, if you just use uh, four staff to pop the Lincolns and blink, then then it, you're pretty slow. Plus, there's also uh, Global Silence follow-up. All right. Well, King Tekka is level 20, so he's finding quite a few levels. I mean, Necro is 22, Queen of Pain 21. They're far above, obviously middle. They get that extra creep early. But they've done a good job of farming. On the other side of things, BSJ. Going for his Blink Dagger. So I think they just wait, right? They get Blink Dagger. He has Cheese up. They have Aegis. They can just push in. He'll have Blink and Manta at the same time. This is a super defensive build on Faithless Void. He needs yeah. to start building some uh, right, you just offensive get items. Yeah, the Fuse Blade yeah. always works with Manta just for extra mana burn, extra damage. Nope. Now King Tech, uh, wh where does he go? It says he's going for the... Uh, Bloodsorn, the, the Orchid's Malevolence. But right now, I mean, Radiant's actually doing the mo the, a very pub build, right? They're just running as five. They're not even like one farming alone. They're just all here as five, having a good time. There we go. Smoke comes out in their base, so it shouldn't be spotted. The problem is all five are missing, so something might be might be up there. They still haven't killed the Shrine. Uh-oh, here we go. This might be the fight Radiant really needs to take here, but the all five are around. If they find BSJ somehow, that'd be nice for him. He does have Cheese and Manta. They throw a ward up. They see everything. But wait, they had Sentry Ward, so they know someone placed it. Here we go. Global Silence on the backside. They're going in. New Sham's going to charge. Nice four steps away. No one wants to commit yet. Global Silence is down. They are going to get a lasso. It is up onto the Silencer. They got a nice ulti from King Tekka going down. Necrophos dies. That is the Aegis still. Batrider goes down as well as Slayer, who just Silencer. It doesn't matter. They're going to try to bash down the Queen of Pain. Can they get him? Radiant's burning as well. Does he get a bash? Not yet. New Sham's looking. Kills that. Here we go. Nice. Oh, he uses bash on King RD. They're just pushing forward. Queen of Pain still alive. An ulti used by Necro, I'm not sure on who, and he might just go down here. He's still healing up now. Nice charge goes through. Hits on all of them. Ulti from the Juggernaut, not doing that much damage. They get a bash on Batrider. He four staffs forward, and now BSJ's in a little pickle. He has cheese, but he gets bashed up, or uh, I don't know why. He's just silenced. Maybe stunned up from the Witch Dog. Now Newsham's in a lot of trouble. He goes down. They might get this tier two, but a very, very bad fight from Leviathan. Yeah, indeed. Even though DCSA had a bad initiation. Oh, wait, they're finding one more. Sorry, more Sammy right. Boy. This, that, that's a huge that's a kill, kill, too. That is. Queen of Pain is going to be a full Orchid now, too, almost. Vetrider initiated on uh, Silencer, who already popped the Global. Yeah, that so was. So there was no need for that. They still managed to lose the fight. The problem is you have a Void with uh, no all these defensive items, no damage, even with a Blink Dagger, but what happens even if he casts a good Chrono, the only thing you can do is maybe put a good Veno ulti. There's a healing ward behind it just to remove all the damage. Uh, I don't know, pop a good Necro ulti. I, don't, I didn't even see... I didn't see the Necro ulti. No, necro ulti because no one died. Maybe yeah. it was on a Bat Rider. You don't want to waste the Necro ulti. Or or something, yeah. Necro ulti on a Bat Rider who already used the lasso. That's also a waste. And now we see Juggernaut Queen of Pain moving around the map, farming while everyone's dead. They're going to get their items up, and it's going to be a Shiva's on Queen of Pain, and it is actually almost up. He has the recipe already on chicken. Yeah, he is going to have that soon, and I wouldn't say it's in like last game, because Leviathan's still up by 8k, but the, the item build on BSJ, like you said, a little questionable. New Sham, bottom lane, going to help out his silencer. He uses Midas. He's going BKB next, I guess. Just more control, right? Just pop and hope you bash people. Yeah, well, you want to go in uh, no matter what. He has enough uh, HP against uh, maybe even a full Jug ulti just to survive that. Ooh, Haystrun. Picked up by King Tech in his bottle. So it looks like Shiva's going to come out at the same time because Necro going Shiva as well as Queen of Pain. So we're just going to have a lot of slowed down attack speed on both sides. 
Diffusal now in Faceless Void. That increases damage tenfold. You know, you just pop Manta inside of Chrono. Everyone's getting the Mana Burn damage. We'll see, though. They're smoking up early here. Are they going to go on this young man mid? 2.3k HP. He's going to throw out the Chrono. Do Surprise, they have enough to bring him down without anyone else? They're trying to. They do. Nicely done. They don't even need the Necro. Where's the Necro? Oh, he's dying up top. He's going to get lassoed. Global comes out. That will do nothing. Cheese oh, he eats it. My goodness. That was last second. He's still alive. He's just going to get the ulti up on Witch Doctor. Charge comes through now. And Necro will drop, but everyone else is in a little bit of a pickle. He's going to try to go. Slayer easily brings him down with that Ag's ulti from the Venom. And here we go. HFN. Do we have a charge? One second. No vision on him. He'll blink away. Oh, wait. Oh. oh. And that'll be that. Dire Nicely done by HFN. Dire structure is fortified. Was that an accident? Yeah, Dire just misclicked, you know. I don't think it mean much, but they just wasted their glyph for no reason. When is the next row shop? It can be up in 30 seconds. Oh, that's hmm. a... Global will be up in 80, so they should just wait for it. Try to yeah. take the Roche, give one more Aegis to Necro. And now he actually changed from Diffusal Blade over to Assault Kyrus. Is that really? Hmm. Interesting. Take the last shrine, though. We'll see. They're just going to go for you this You need two. to stop uh, saying positive things, like interesting. Going for AC. Give me a well, different Well, interesting is usually a flame. Yeah, give me a different I was word. clearly flame. Diffusal Blade's like the best item you can you know, avoid. That's just a garbage pickup. All right, thank you very much. He has a plate mill, though, I guess. Plate mill is cool. <laughs> HFN, almost level 24, charging down bomb. He has an Eye of Scotty. Now 2.8k HP does quite a bit of damage as well. Do you like that pickup on him? Do you like the survivability, I guess? So. Uh-oh, I don't know. New Sham is... Uh, yeah, that's the best st it's stats greedy. item he can get. No, it's not greedy. Okay. No, 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 I'm talking about the new sham charges in bottom. and He's still alive, though, for some reason. Will get brought down, but there's going to be another kill on the backside. Actually, Jenkins goes down to King Tekka, who's getting squared up on Slayer. Will get the kill on one of them. Will he get this one as well? King Tekka, it's 1v1. Oh, and he gets Woo! him. He, and he doesn't even run to the chrono. He's just squaring up on him. That's a kill. BSJ. Saves his boy Jenkins. I don't even know what that one was. And we are going to see a kill middle, though. Sammy boy dies again. Last defusal charge of the Juggernaut. No, he didn't even use it. He already no. wasted all. I don't know how Necro did not die. No how ghost shroud. Yeah. Probably silenced by, uh -oh. by Ennis. And here we go. BSJ, look at all his mana getting drained. Will he have enough to get a QA? He does have the wand. He's going to have to do it. He finally gets it up. They're just going to chase him down. I have Scotty. Nope, they're not going to. Has blink up. And Silencer now. Where'd this guy get farmed? Treads, four staff, and a Lotus Orb. 38 stolen in. He's oh, a he very in smart he's man. He's actually strong as hell, yeah. yeah. He's in, what, 26 out of 35 That's kills. That's a smart man. Plus, he picked up uh, 60 gold per minute talent on level 15. That's yeah. one of the shittiest talents ever, even in uh, the other side of the talent. <laughs> Plus 200 health, yeah. level 15. I do want to say, actually, mid creeps doing a lot of work. They take down that middle shrine that actually is so tanky, so... Only thing left in the tier fours is one building. Yeah. I wish they'd name the building something, not just building. Which one? Any of them. The ones in the base that just say building, like this one. This tower. Or this here. one. They literally just say building is their names. Like I don't know. South southeast building. Yeah, that even that would be better, right? It gives it like some like you could root for those buildings. Like it gives them a name. Now you don't know. Who they, you're they need for. an identity. Yeah. Ooh, Our playing king defense, has Jack. been silent for past, what, 20 minutes? How's it going, Jack? I rule by actions, not words. That's Dang. smart. Uh, charge the flying. king has spoken! Where does Juggernaut go now? He upgrades his defusal to level 2. Do you just want him to go pure damage, or even like a Basher, Lincoln's? Or, or he might consider going a BKB, just... It doesn't feel like Dyer's up 12k. They have a full racks down, but I mean, this Juggernaut's extremely scary, and I, like you said, the Faceless Void's items are, are very suspect. Double damage. Still, I mean, that's like four, he has four defensive items. Yeah. Uh, here we go, and they know he's coming. They pinged him out. He's gonna soar above. He's gonna get the Chrono off. They need to tear him. Nope, the Global's gonna fly. Can they bring on the Juggernaut before? He's so tanky, though. He gets his mana. He's spinning away. We do see an ulti coming out from the Venom. BSJ on the backside. They're gonna easily necro Matthew, who just buys back instantly. Shiva's will hit King RD on the very backside, but the buyback's there. They get scared. No Global. No Chrono. That was a jump with a DD yeah. on BSJ. Still yeah. feels like he just can't hit hard. Just, uh, yeah, that's Scotty. is so tanky. Oops. The Scotty gives him HP, gives him armor. armor. 
plus a he's lot. level 25, 20 agility, so he has the armor, 27 armor, armor. Yeah. even more with the Aquila. It's in the backpack, it's gonna be 30 armor. Yeah, he yeah. has 30 freaking armor. That, until BSJ, he, I, he's going the Assault Curse, which takes off armor, but feels like Diffusal's just, it, what's that word? EHP or whatever? Effective, I don't know, I'm just making shit. I know that's a thing. No, you're right, effective HP. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Diffusal's just seems better, but here we go, they're going for Roche, like Lacoste said they should, picking up this surprise one. 15k up on Leviathan because that buyback. BSJ, no ulti though. Venos is up. They need to be scared. That's Ags, yeah. And looks like Batrider is going to do some fire. Uh oh, BSJ goes in, then goes out. He's cool. Gale's going to fly, only hit on the Roshan. They're trying to run away. Jenkins needs to be careful. He is their big team fighter. Nice four step back. Oh, that's a double cast bounce. Uh oh, and they're going to find. They know Venos the problem, and he just goes down instantly. Nice ulti by King Tech on the back side. BSJ is getting fully Omni Slash. Now he's just getting right clicked. Is he going to have another queue up? No, no he mana. just goes down. Nicely done, Diffusal Blade. Now we have BKB popped by Nusham. They're trying to right click. See you later, Necrophos. And Leviathan is just straight crumbling. Matthew Glimmer capes himself so he won't even die. They're trying to chase down Mansur Kenshiro. Looks like he will. That is a nice Lotus Orb. Slows down, silences that guy. But he's just getting right click. Tons of armor, but he will go wipe. down. And that is a 5 4 3, we'll say, since there was a buyback as well. Or but 3 2 2 wipe. by Leviathan. Yeah, that was. That was really good understanding by DCSA. I'm going to be very positive here. Sorry, Jack. I'll take a swing of my monster. Um, knowing that the Venomancer was their only problem, like they knew the Chrono was down and, and Necro was just kind of... He's been kind of... I don't know. I haven't seen yeah. much from him. The, the Venom's ult could just kill him, and they just jump only on him. It's a really smart play by them. All right, let me take a sip now. Awesome The stuff. problem for Leviathan was there was no Global. There was no Chronosphere. They can't yeah. uh, really take a team fight. And this, this feels a lot like kind of that last game with VGJ, right? This Juggernaut played by HFN. Kind of like Troll uh, played by Ritsu, just farming up slowly. Didn't really die much in the mid game after his early game deaths, and now he has 6k. Very good play by him. Yeah, he needs a uh, slot. Uh, yeah. The Blink Dagger value is just uh, insane. He That's managed to much, take yeah. down Necro a couple of times with it. I'll just a full, full ulti on him. Because you can defuse a wall ulting as a juggernaut if he ghost shrouds. Another newbie tip out there for you, youngins. Really appreciate and you for reaching you, Jack. out to the newbies. And for Jack. <laughs> 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 Good morning, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the king can do what he wants, right? All hail the king. Hey, Jack, when are you getting a haircut, by the way? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's getting a bit long, you know. I think, I think before... Uh, Next week, I think we can go get a haircut. Yeah. All right. Wait, I already got one. You I don't shave give your head. Shit about you. <laughs> That's too much. Dude, I think you'd look actually. You'd look. I was gonna say cute. That sounds really weird though. Uh, I think you'd look great, bald Jack. I don't think so. Let me see. Not at I think nah, you'd look great, really. bald. Not, not really. do it, uh, Jack. I'll give you fifty bucks. Fully bald. I think you need to go higher than fully fifty bald. That's like the haircut. For to I did it for twenty head. bucks in eight in eighth grade. That was sick. I what? definitely didn't look. You know. Well, it doesn't Good. matter how you look, you're not going to look any better anyway, so... <laughs> but you're going to be 50 bucks richer. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, I'm, I'm, I'm you serious. You guys should be slamming some monsters right I now. I already have... I'm insulting your hair! I don't have to slam anything, Jack. You might have slammed this D in your I'm, uh, I'm witnessing them kill you right now, so... Oh, and they scan. They know they're all up here. Well, they don't know all of them. They know at least one person's up here. BSJ, though. Here we go. Are they going to find him? They do. Lincoln gets popped. There we go. Global flies, but he already got the last off. Will he be able to bring him down? Oh, he oh, only Lotus slashes Orb. himself. Nicely done by the Lotus Orb. Yep. And Sammy Boy brings down Batrider on the backside. Here we go. They're going for the Juggernaut. This might be the fight turnaround they needed. Slayer still going in. That is the A. I guess King Tay. It's a huge ult. You have Kill Slayer. He is going to buy back. Will the Witch Doctor go down? That's a lot of healing he's doing. He will finally get taken off. Get a Q off. A lot of that damage. King Tay is getting bashed. Not anymore. Juggernaut's back alive. Full HP, full everything. This guy's a little bit scary. Silence coming. Matthew bashing oh. down BSJ. Here comes the spin from Juggernaut. And and Sammy Boy's still here. He's scary, but with no Aghanims. Oh, he has Shiva's up in two. He should be an easy kill now on the Juggernaut. Nicely done. New Sham. New Sham plus Slayer. The, the two supports, right? Getting that Lotus Orb. The Lotus Orb yep. them won them that fight. Yeah. Yeah, right nicely there. Nicely done, Slayer. Silencer. This guy's good. This guy's a real all-star. New Sham so farmed Midas off cooldown, but he has a BKB, 11 urns, Midas, Heaven's Halberd, and, and traps, and he has Midas. Oh, He's eleven urns. That's who, that's even worse than he having a Midas off cooldown. You you can't. That's a lot. You just push okay. put it on someone, right, so they don't blink. Yeah, you can't uh, have more than three urns. 
Yeah, if you see someone kind of four earned, you know something is wrong with him. Yeah, and we see actually New Sham all chats the uh, Roshan timer and then says, whoops. Well, he says, uh, but. And here we go, no, no BSJ void, but like you said, Necro does so much damage, and not only that, he has a double damage, obviously, with that plus 40 damage, and he has 400 Four. health cooldown. This guy, this guy's pretty jacked. He's just gonna blink away, though. They get the tier three, and yeah, now the rack's is, uh, exposed. Bad. This is one of the worst talents. 25 minus one second that pulls cooldown. What, what? I don't think there's no. a worse level 25 talent. But the problem is, it's already such a low cooldown. So if you take it, it's four. four if you get an five, octarine, it it's like three point five. Wow! And it heals you for what? Uh, One twenty. Yeah, it clears creep poison shit. Wow! Did we swap rolls here? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. even know. I, my no, it's definitely roll. the worst. Yeah, it's definitely the worst twenty-five. Like, but how could you make? Like, how do you even change it? Because you can't make it minus two seconds. That would that almost be too broken at that point. Then, maybe yeah, just, just make, make it, a new it something talent. else. Yeah. Make Ghost Shroud unpurgeable at level twenty-five. Ooh. Because that's that'd be that's a that's that might be pretty OP. useless. So you think OP? What? I think it'd be because you can't re get new diffusal blades after you run out of charges. You so. can buy a new diffusal blade. Yeah, that's true. That's super light game. I think it'd be good in like a ninety minute game for sure. Man, I'm a genius. Uh, lightning, juggernaut. If if you have to call yourself a genius, I I, I don't think you are a genius. Hmm. Like I don't think Albert Einstein said, "Oh, look at me." I'm so smart. I think Grant's a genius. Well, thank you, production. I agree with you. <laughs> Dang. Uh, retard alert. <laughs> <laughs> we see Jenkins Shut as well as Silencer just running away. Off. BSJ's there. He has the Assault Curious. I mean, that's... What would you call that? A 50-50 offensive-defensive item? Uh, which one? Assault Curious. It's more of a defensive item. Yeah. Well, well, it, it gives you more armor and gives your team armor. True, but a minus armor and attack speed. Are you ever one of the people that called it Assault Curious? AC? No. Okay. That's actually one of the few things I don't miss, like, say. And I, I miss say a lot of stuff, so that's good. Uh, here we go. Bottom lane. They're just pushing in. They He has a full BKB, but he's saving for buyback. I think Necro should just buy the BKB and commit to this fight, but he's saving buyback. Which, I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong or right. I think Necro still needs Aghanim Scepter even in the I previous agree. fight. It's 20 seconds cooldown. Yeah, you can yeah. use it twice, sometimes even three times if you don't die. Yeah, but here we go. King RD pushed out top lane. Get a TV back. Needs to get some mana back. And it is an exposed Rax. But these Juggernaut Illusions do quite a bit of damage. He has a full Mjolnir, Scotty, Diffusal 2, Manta. I mean, he doesn't have his blink anymore because the cheese is there, but... They're, they're very scared to push in. It's Frank? not like anyone has very Frank? well combo. He does. Frank finds someone. Will he be able to make it all the way to the top? He does. He brings them uphill. Huge Chrono coming, though. They're going to be able to bring down the Night Stalker, who does have the gem. He should be going for the Queen of Pain, actually. That guy was locked down. He gets the bash. He's going to use himself oh, in the air. Can the they geez. kill him? It's going to be close. King Tekka blinks away, but he does get killed by the Radiance, as well as the Heartstopper Roar now. Going to try to run away as a Juggernaut, but he gets first hit. Bash outside of Manta. Get to throw up his ultimate. Will he be able to bring anyone down with it? Jane's taking a ton of damage. New Sham as well. And he is. He's on the backside. He's going to get ulted up. New Sham just solo kill him. King Tekka goes forward. He might be in a lot of trouble. Uses his no buyback buy on the jug. Yep, there isn't, but BSJ is squaring up on him. And those those plus two cast bounces are actually... They still give a Reaper Sight. They do. He's silenced now, though. He needs to be careful. He might just die here. Okay. And now New Sham, though, is here with BSJ. They kill King RD. Oh, he's going back in. He doesn't care. Will he get one or two bashes? He's using those urns now. Necro's he needs back. one hit. Necro is back. And there we go. That will bring him down. Necro ult gets Boom. thrown. No buy. But 152 seconds. Dead. Get the hell out of this game. Yeah, that. The Queen of Pain's <laughs> dead for literally two and a half minutes. Just, that is just, that's he rough. Just, yeah, he took her right out of the game. Yep. So and 25. Wow. With three per side plus a buyback. Yeah. <laughs> that's a rough one. Uh, he's never coming alive. Uh. So that game had a really felt like a roller coaster. It was ups downs. Leviathan definitely had the lead in the the early game. Like two really bad fights by them. But w w would you? It it felt like they just have better ultimates on the dire side too, right? Chrono, Global, and Reaper Scythe, and Ags Veno. Just feels like they Global, had Chrono, fight. Necro Alti, yeah. Veno Alti. It's so easy to fight with this. Yeah. And I mean, we we go down the list here. BSJ nine six twenty. Well, we kind of, I still think his items could be better, but they did win the game. I do like the Kyrus definitely helped him out in that last fight. The Silencer, just being able to farm a four staff and that Lotus Orb that we saw Lotus Orb. saved him yeah. against that Juggernaun. Then new Sham Man, level 25 Spirit Breaker, ended up with quite a few items. And, and Jenkins, I mean, his ult was there, but 
that's all they needed from yeah, him. He like did his job. He did. Yeah, a lot of them. It felt like it wasn't. They weren't doing any flashy plays or huge signature winning. performances. Mm -hmm. It's like they did their job. They had a good draft, and they won the lanes, and we're just kind of. Oh, it almost got away from him. Yep. But uh, oh. they were able to hold it. Yeah, for sure. On the backside, King Tekka, though, he had some huge ulties. Like, he had a rough, very early game. He farmed up, and his ults were gigantic. The problem is, Queen of Pain's ult is just against a necro. It's kind of neg negligible. I believe that's the word. That was the word. Okay, and King RD's heal uh, helped him out. It was just a rough game from DCSA because all that had farm was, was the Juggernaut was Omega farmed, and King Tekka was kind of farmed. And if no one else has farm, you're just going to lose to the other team who has massive amounts of farm. What, what do you want to see DCSA change the cost? I still think the, their picks are, I don't know, from what I feel for Leviathan in the previous games we saw. Uh, they need to change a little bit more about the picks. The team fight composition is not uh, that strong, especially when the, the enemy team has a silencer. Uh, you have a bat rider who's pretty much useless after you initiate. Uh, that's the only thing you do. You just get globaled. Yeah, uh, it's hard to say if like that was a Frank comfort pick, maybe. Make, uh, yeah, because we, now we've seen we've seen so many bat riders in the silencers, and it's just it's just not working out for the bat rider team. No, no, no. All right, and I guess going over to King Jack, looking regal as always. <laughs> His a little haggard, but uh, <laughs> are you appeased? Good. It was what, good. I, I really, I, you know, Jack, you're wearing the wrong crown. For for a super action packed game, that game was like the most. I don't know how to say it. Like it was an action packed game, but it felt very, you know, kind of slow. Still, I'm not sure. Like both sides were just constantly fighting. It really felt like a pub game. It's like a baseball game, I think. Yeah, they're just <laughs> <laughs> baseball pub game. It's moments of slowness, but there's a bit of action. You just it really felt like it. a pub. It was kind of just like you know they're just running back and forth. And one team would, would run, the other team find us. Oh yeah, we want to fight, and just there's a little. Very disorganized and chaotic. No, right, because there was 87 kills. Actually, 88, because there was one to nine. It doesn't show up here. So 88 kills in this game, and it, you're kind of right. Like, it was super action-packed for, like, 10 minutes. Then that last period of time, it was just, like, nothing. And then the last fight was, like, 12 buybacks, and it was just over. Mm -hmm. it, it, but it worked out for Leviathan. They get their first W on the board. DCSA now, 0-5. and five, But they have one more chance today to break that up. And I, I, HFN's playing very well. All these games, even they're losing, yep. but... You, you, you all have to play good. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'll yeah. say, uh, I think these Brazilians, uh, or maybe even just South Americans who play carry, they love to go for Mjolnir. I think the maybe better choice here would have been uh, a basher just to lock down either uh, yeah. Necro or whoever, uh, Venno, wh whoever they want to focus, maybe even BSJ on that void just for extra lockdown. Yep. Especially with the attack speed Jug has. Yeah, exactly. Well, so that wraps up game number one between DCSA and Team Leviathan. We will be back here shortly for game number two between them. So, you know, better catch you there.